state what is meant by an electric field. This one, uh, they say electric field, not electric field strength. So uh, it's like what we mentioned. Electric field is just a region of space. Here go electric field. How do we know? We put a particle inside here and we see, oh, there's a force pulling it. So we can say that this is a region of space. A fancy word. Or you can just say an area. But I prefer if you say region of space. It's more official. What happens in the region of space? Oh, where a charge, any charge, positive, negative, doesn't, doesn't matter. This charge experiences an electric force. If you didn't say electric force, also okay. Lah. Just force. Okay, so this one, got mentioned that. This is B1. Some of you may say, Miss, what about the equation F equals to QE and then E equals to force per unit charge? What is this one? Ah? This is actually talking about defining electric field strength. How strong is the field? Then you calculate force per unit charge. It's a different definition. Ah? Different. This one is just electric field. Didn't ask about the strength. Just electric field. So... Region of space. Uh, I guess you could say electric or electrostatic force. Yeah. Electrostatic. The E force. Lah. E force. Okay, let's move on to the next one then. So you have this interesting setup. Very rare. I'm like, wow, doesn't look like look like some kind of monster with two eyes. The electric field between earth metal plate and two, two sphere is shown. Looks pretty nice. Okay, on the on figure 5.1, label each sphere with positive or negative to show its charge. Ah, how do you know which one is which? You see the direction of the arrow? It's going away from this sphere, right? Means this one is going to be our positive charge. So on your drawing, you should have a positive on that side. On the other side, you see all this arrow is going towards the charge. So here you can say it's a negative charge. Defined by convention. Positive away. Negative go towards the charge. The electric field lines. So on the figure 5.1, mark a region where the, the magnitude of electric field is constant. Where is constant? Just now we mentioned how do you know the electric field strength? Ah, or aka magnitude of electric field. E is basically equivalent to the spacing between lines. The electric field lines. So you look and see, oh, in the region near this plate, here to here roughly the same distance as here, to here roughly the same distance as here, to here roughly the same distance. Okay, la, this whole region, approximately the same distance everywhere. So all this is where you can say the electric field strength is constant. The uniform electric field, roughly. Here. This one is uniform. So you mark your C, uh, region C can be anywhere inside this point. So you just see. You can also shade area, also can. So this is where you have uniform field. The mask scheme is kind of picky. They say it must be within 5 millimeter from plate. So you draw as close as you can to the plate. Lah. But of course, this is a you're not on drawing on paper, so it's a bit hard to, to guess where it's 5 millimeters. So, ah, never mind. Like, you draw near the plate, can ready. Okay, then they also want you to find where is the electric field decreasing? Means getting weaker. Decreasing. Ah. Mm. One place you could see is this one. So, you look at this part here. Such a small spacing means the field here is very strong. But as you go further and further away from this charge, it gets weaker. So here is weaker field because they are more further apart. All these lines are further apart. So what you want to say is decreasing. You could say it's somewhere here. Anywhere along this area all also considered decreasing. Some of you may say, Miss, can I draw the right side? Ah? And say here, the field is decreasing. Can also, ah, you didn't say, we didn't have a specific direction where we are going right. So you can also say, oh, I go from here, I travel to here. Ma. So here the field, you see, so close together, very strong. Very, very strong. But as you go further away, the spacing becomes bigger already. So 
here is weaker few. So either way, also can on either side. It can be anywhere, like it doesn't have to be in between as long as you just you can draw here, you can draw here, you can draw here. Also can. It doesn't have to be, be between the few lines. Then on the left side, I draw on the line. So as long as it is in uh what's the condition? Uh? As long as it is not the same area as C, then it's okay already. C is near the plate. So anywhere outside this whole area can. You enjoy the site? No problem. D. Okay, so remember how to see few strength from diagram, the lines, how close together. Very close together means very strong field. Very far apart, very weak field. All right, so this is the first part, marking out how to interpret few lines. Now we go to the next part, have to do calculation. Oh my. Where is it? Oops, here. Aha. This looks strange. A molecule got center P or positive charge situated a distance 2.8. Okay, let's call this distance. So got a charge here, got a charge here. Positive charge here. Okay, let's draw positive charge here. And then uh, from negative charge on the other end. Why the positive and negative charge can stick together? I don't know, I call molecule. If you take chemistry, then you go and study more about molecule. Why got positive and negative there? By physics, we just we just know I have positive negative la. That's it. So the molecule is in the uniform electric field that's given to us, which is the electric field strength of 5 times 10 to the 4. Quite strong, ah. But this is a molecule that are tied together. So we can assume like there's a stick in between them. Like this. Uh, and well, what else are we here? Oh, the axis is at the angle 30 to the horizontal. The magnitude of charge is 1.6 times 10 to the 19. Hey, this is just E. Uh. So it means this fella here got a charge positive E. This fella got a charge negative E. Mm, interesting. So on figure 5.2, draw an arrow at P and arrow at N. Show me where the force will point at this. For at, the, at those positions. So you need to remember, oh. Don't, don't panic of the molecule. You're like, oh my goodness, miss all the chemistry is coming. No, 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 no. We just see positive point to where. So if you have positive charge in the field, you're going to follow the direction of the field. Oh, yo, I like this one. So you just need to draw an arrow on the positive charge like this. At point P. This is your electric force. Negative is a rebel. Such a rebel. Field is pointing to the right. This fellow go to the left. Opposite. So that's how you can think of these things. All right. So if you've got to draw these two arrows, you are good to go. Correct direction. Direction must be correct. One mark for you. Okay. What else do we need to do? I think that's it. Calculate the torque on the molecule produced by the forces in number one. Wow. Torque. We haven't seen this word in a while. Torque is... Another word for AKA moment. And this can be calculated by force times perpendicular distance. So torque uh, is something when you turn. So you see this molecule, it will start to turn, you know. It's like you trying to spin your pencil or your pen with you. So this poor molecule will start to go, and this, and this, uh, it will go like that. Rotate, and then spinning, spinning, spinning in the electric field. At a certain frequency, depending on what kind of particle it is. Anyway, that's for another experiment. But how do we find the torque? If you're panicking because you see all these so many things, uh, you can simplify this a little bit. There are two ways to find the answer. First way, I'll show the first way, uh, is to simplify this to our good old torque equation. Imagine there's a stick here. One force here. One force here. Looks like a Z, but the other way around. Hmm. Okay, never mind. So this force you can calculate by Q times E. Same one here. This is known as the torque of couple. Uh. So for couple force, you need to find what is the distance between these two forces. This is method number one. So how do you find this distance 
that is perpendicular between these two forces. They give us a D, right? They will give us a D. Ah, they give us this D here. This is D. But we want the perpendicular distance, okay, perpendicular to the force. So you have to do some trigo a bit. So angle here, 30 degrees. I think that will be 30 from the rod to the horizontal. So this is 30 degrees. Can we find D perpendicular? Write some, some notes here first. Okay, wait. D perpendicular. Ah, oh, we use the trigo. We use the trigo opposite hypotenuse. So sine of 30 opposite is D perpendicular, which we want to use. Hypotenuse is D, which the value we have. Okay, so we're going to use that to do our calculations down there. So to find the torque of a couple, because this is a couple, we can shortcut. We just take the force times the perpendicular distance, which will be QE times D sine 30. Okay, now we plug in all the values. So the charge of both are the same force, right? So you just take any charge. 1.6 times 10 to the 19. The E is given to us here. So we write in. 5.0 times 10 to the 14, eh, 10 to the 4, sorry. And the D, what's the D? Scroll up a bit. 2.8 times 10 to the 10. So let's write that down. 2.8 times 10, negative 10, sine 30. Oh, so this is how you can find the force. Press calculator time. End of the day, if all goes well, no errors, you should get a torque, a turning effect of 1.12 times 10 to the negative 24 Newton meter. So this is a clockwise torque. Because thanks to all these forces acting on your molecule, you will start to rotate like this. Spin, 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 clockwise. Right, so this is how it marks. Two marks. You can also stick to 1.1 for 2SF, also accepted, can also. Your two marks, one comes from you using the, 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 the force times distance equation. So did you know, do you remember that torque is force times moment or torque is force times distance? This is C1 for usage, usage of equation. Either you write it explicitly or you sub in the values and show that, oh, I know how to use this. Then, of course, lastly, your final answer here. Lah. If you make sure write that out, that will be A1 on this side. Okay, so that's all for this question.